What's going on guys and welcome to Duran Gaming and it is a sad sad time for the Halo community just straight depressing and frustrating at the same time. If you haven't heard by now apparently Frank O'Connor the development director for Halo went online and said and I quote we continue to work on Halo Wars 2 and future endeavors. There are no Halo 3 anniversary plans at this time and the diminishing returns would make it a tricky proposition anyways. To me, this is like a big ass slap across the fucking jaw. I mean, how can they not make a Halo 3 anniversary? The biggest top selling Halo of all time. The game where the Halo population was at its peak. Now I've had arguments with people who dislike Halo 3, defending 343 saying Halo 5 is better. And why waste their time when they can work on Halo 6 and blah blah shut the fuck up. Listen, Halo 5 sold less copies than any other Halo so Halo 5 is obviously not that great. And I love hearing the excuse where oh but back then there wasn't that much competition and now there's more first person shooters that's why Halo is failing. Halo is failing because they're doing a similar shit to what other first person shooters do. Sprint, abilities, microtransactions, the slot machine shit with the cards making the game COD friendly or at least try to and by doing that you push real Halo fans away and all the COD fans get bored of it and go right back to playing COD. And I admit a lot of people like this shit. But at the same time, a lot of people hate this shit. So why won't you make the game? I mean, it only makes sense. Finish what you started with the remasters and release it alongside with the Xbox One Scorpio. I can almost guarantee you a lot of people will go for that shit, especially with the holiday season. It's a no-brainer. Listen. I know I'm ranting, but when I read this article, I died for half a second. Tons and tons of people love this game, and for them to completely fuck up the Master Chief Collection and not redeem themselves with a Halo 3 anniversary is a huge middle finger to every old school Halo fan out there. Now here's the part where I give you good news and a little ounce of hope for Halo 3. 18 months before the Master Chief Collection was announced, 343 came out and said they were absolutely not working on Halo 2 anniversary. But it turned out that they were. So yeah, maybe they're fucking with us, but who knows, you know? Maybe they'll still announce it at E3 next year. And if they do, please don't add it to the Master Chief Collection. The game is dead. It's done. People gave up on it and moved on. The game has to be a standalone. And shit, if it doesn't release in 2017, then release it alongside Halo 6 like Infinite Warfare did with Modern Warfare Remastered. Just make it happen. One more little thing i like to add before I leave. So apparently Josh Holmes, the studio head for 343, is quitting in order to pursue his dream of making indie games. There's also some other employee changes going around, and I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like some pretty damn good news. Maybe Halo can be great again, or maybe it can be worse than before, I don't know. But the guy that replaced him is supposedly a longtime Halo fan, so... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well that's all I gotta say for this video, I wanna know what you guys think about this news. Do you believe Frank O'Connor or do you think he's messing with us? Let me know. Leave a like, dislike, I don't care, just speak your mind. This has been a Duran Gaming production and I'll catch y'all later.